Hello and welcome to another overview video of the Synergy Sports Editor Max. I'm Johnny and today I'm going to be taking you through the different types of clips that can be created with inside the Synergy Editor and how to place those clips directly inside of a tagging template and get started tagging fast. To get started quickly, click on the Templates tab in the upper right hand corner and then on the plus icon next to it. Once you do so, select New Tagging Template where you'll be prompted to go ahead and give this template a name. We will name this uh, clip types. Once again, once you're done, either just press OK or press Enter. Once you do so, a blank tagging template will open up inside of your editor. In our tagging templates, we will have four main types of clips. They are going to be manual clips, auto clips, labels, and shells. Manual clips are going to be clips that you actually have to start and stop yourself. Now these clips can be as long as you would like or as short as you would like, but the main point being to get the start and stop point for these clips, you will have to go ahead and press that tag twice, once to start it and once to stop it. To add a tag, first select the clip that we want to add the tag to and then press the add tag button. From here, we'll get a pop-up that's going to give us a ton of different options to actually add tags directly to this manual clip. First one will be a team name, a player name, even user tags can all be added directly to this manual clip. Other than that, you're also going to see three different categories of tags given to us directly by Synergy. So it's going to be an offensive category tag, a play type tag, as well as an outcome tag with statistics that we can attach directly to this manual clip. Because of the nature of manual clips, they're really good at tracking things like possession. So to track possession with a manual clip, Inside of the pop-up under possession, we'll just go ahead and select offense and then hit close. Now we see the offensive possession directly on our manual clip within our tagging template. From here, we're still going to have a bunch of different options to manipulate this tag to exactly how we want it. The first thing I'll point out will be the nickname box located uh, within the tags properties panel. So within here, you're able to actually change the display name of your manual clip. This is not going to change that it's tracking the possession, but what you're able to do is change how this is actually going to display on your tagging template. So to change it, just go ahead and click on the nickname checkbox and then go ahead and type in the name of whatever you would like to see as your display. The next tab we're going to have is going to be our properties tab. So if we click on this, we're going to see a few options. The first one's going to be to change the actual type of clip we have, which we can do directly in here. We can assign it a hotkey, and you're also going to have options to go ahead and link your tags together. So for example, with manual clips, because I said they track things like possession so well, you can go ahead and create two manual clips, link the tags together, and easily track who during a game is going to have possession of the ball. You also will have more options available to you under the styles tab. So in here, you'll be able to change the color of your tag, the font, the size of your font, bold, italicize, even underline uh, the specific text within your tag, um, change the color of the uh, actual text of the tag, even the alignment down to the outline of the tag. So you're going to have a ton of options in here to get as granular you want with the design of the tag. Uh, lastly, down at the bottom, you're going to have the option to add images. So these are really helpful, especially if you're creating tags for players, specific teams, anything like that, a drill. Come in, add static images of a drill, of a team's logo, a player's headshots, outline of a court, outline of anything. Go ahead, add that in directly by clicking the add image uh, icon there, and it'll give you the options to upload it directly from your computer. Within the editor itself, right-click functionality is a major theme. So if you right-click now on any tag, you're going to have a bunch of different options. You can go ahead and copy the tag. You'll be able to go ahead and duplicate it. You'll be able to delete it, change the fill, assign a hotkey, even change your tag and reopen the hierarchy, all from directly just right-clicking on a tag. So for here, we're just going to go ahead and delete it, work with only the one offensive category tag. The next type of clip we're going to add into our template are going to be auto clips. To do so, simply select auto clip and then double click directly into the template. Auto clips are going to work a little bit differently than manual clips. 
for auto clips, we actually are going to set a lead and lag time for these clips. And whenever we press our button, we're going to get that given set of time automatically. So for example, we wanted a clip that every time we press this button, we want seven seconds before and five seconds after. We would just go ahead and set that up so that when we press this button one time, we'll go ahead and get that 12 second clip that we were looking for. Setting up an auto clip is going to be the same process as what you went through for a manual clip. Go ahead, click your add tags button. With auto clips, however, they are going to specifically track statistics that happen quickly very well. Because of the nature of an auto clip, you're able to capture a moment in time and only have to press your hotkey or your tag once. They work very well for tracking statistics like rebounds, three point field goals, other shooting attempts. Like I said, statistics that happen quickly during gameplay. For this example, we're going to go over to our outcomes panel and we're going to select three point field goals attempted and actually even more specifically three point field goals miss. Once we have those ahead and selected, we'll just go ahead and close out of this window here. Now that we've closed that window, we can see our tags directly next to each other on our template. We're going to have that same option to go ahead and give it a nickname if we want to change what the display name is. But we're also going to have similar property panels that we can come in and, and play around with how this tag actually looks and operates. So we'll have the option to go ahead and change the type of tag it is, auto clip, manual clip, label shell. Go ahead and assign a hotkey, link the tags together. But under this video option, this is where we're going to have really the things that set auto clips apart. So these are going to be uh, the places where you can actually set your lead and lag times for these clips. So in this case, we'll have two seconds before we press this button or the hotkey and three seconds after. For these clips, like I said, because they're nature, they're made to tag statistics really quickly uh, when a game is going on, even live in a lot of cases, you're going to want to go ahead and change your lead and lag times for whatever that specific statistic that you're tracking is. So for example, we're tracking a three point field goal miss. Us as a coach might want to say, hey, we need to see 10 seconds before that shot, as well as three seconds after to go ahead and give us the full uh, length of clip that we need to go ahead and break down that video. The next tag we're going to add to our template is actually going to be a label. So labels are going to work differently uh, than manual clips and auto clips because they're going to work as a tool to attach data to your manual and auto clips. And labels work specifically well for attaching data um, to specific events. So for example, we have our three point field goal miss here. This label is going to work really well for telling us what player missed that three point field goal miss. To add a tag to our label, go ahead and select the label and then press the add tag button. The same process we've done with the previous two clips. Once we click add tags, you're going to see that same pop up uh, that you've seen before. Uh, with the outcomes, play types, offensive categories, possessions, all of these are options to go ahead and add to your label. For this video, however, we're going to add a player name. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and just select the player text box directly in this pop up. And we're just going to go ahead and type in player number 10. Once that's typed in, it'll go ahead and save for us. And what's nice is this list will continue to save and populate for us the whole time we set up our template. So you're always going to have these players saved and you're not going to have to go back and retype it. Once we're done, just go ahead and press close. Now that we've added the label to our tagging template, we're going to have all those same options that we've seen before. So we can change the display name by changing the nickname. Uh, we're going to have our properties panel change the tags. Again, assign this a hotkey. I always encourage users to use hotkeys. So we can link tags together. Uh, all those same options that you've seen before. The last type of clip that we have is going to be shells. Shells are going to work a little bit differently uh, to go ahead and add our shell. Go ahead and just select it. And with these, I'm going to say click and drag is going to be the best one. The reason being shells work in a way to group tags together. So for example, with this setup, we would see that our offensive category manual clip, our three point field goal miss uh, auto clip and our number 10 label are all also going to be grouped together with this shell. 
to go ahead and add a tag to your shell it's going to be the same process and with these shells they're going to work very well with grouping things together like a team so for example all of these events are going to happen inside of a specific team to add a tag hit add tags and now with this pop-up we're going to click in the team text box within here we're just going to go ahead and assign this a team name we can do whatever we want for this video we're just going to hit team a same functionality as the players you'll see that it saves then just go ahead and hit close now if you see on our shell we're going to have that piece of information saying team a as well as all of the other information inside of that shell similar to our other tags we can click into our properties panel uh, and make any changes we would like link tags together we also have our styles panel that's going to give us a few options so we could change the color of our shell if we wanted it to be white we wanted it to be black or transparent you have all those options as well as a full color wheel so you can get really as customizable as you want uh, with any of your tags once all of our tags are added to the template and styled to our liking where it's now time to actually start tagging our video to do so we're going to click on the edit button in the upper right hand corner if you hover over it you'll also see that there's a hotkey to do that and then once we go ahead and press the edit button you're now going to see a little bit of change in display that lets us know we are now in tagging mode within tagging mode itself you're going to have a bunch of different options to change the display of the editor uh, so anywhere gray meets black you can go ahead and drag rearrange the video screen rearrange the tagging screen even down to uh, zooming in and out on your tagging template synergy is going to have a ton of options for you to really customize it to however you and your staff like to do your work you're also going to have the option up in the right hand corner to pop out uh, your tagging template so if you're using any external displays or anything like that you just have different options that make it really really easy for you to redock your tagging window there's a couple different options first one you can just go ahead and close out of it and it'll redock it for you or the same button you use to pop it out will also just redock it directly into your editor now that we've added clips to our tagging template we're actually ready to start using it to tag our video to do so we're going to press play and get the video started right off the start we can see that team a wins the tip starting their offensive possession so we're going to start our manual clip by pressing either the clip or the hotkey once to get it going from there we see really quickly there is a shot from team a so we know that this was a three-point field goal we don't know what it was yet now we know that it was a miss so we're going to go ahead and use our auto clip to go ahead and label that as a three-point field goal miss and now the last piece of information we're going to want to add is who was the player in this case it was number 10 so we'll go ahead and click our label and it'll attach the player to our three-point field goal miss notice how the offensive tag is still running during this whole time so now that we have those clips attached to our timeline just in that 15 seconds we're going to start to see what information we are able to pull out of that video to start out we can zoom in with this wheel that will change the perspective and the size of our tags in our timeline makes it a little bit easier for different lengths of video that you might be working with just to make sure that you can easily identify the tags you that you want to find so now if we look at our clips we can tell this one on top is the manual offensive clip for team a and the one on bottom is going to be the three-point field goal attempt as well so if we expand this now we're going to see that this three-point field goal attempt was in fact a miss and if we double click on this we're going to get the video of that clip in this timeline so it's going to be the exact length that we set in the setup of this tag and we're going to be able to go ahead and watch this clip the entirety of the way through we also can hover over it and that's going to give us the information about what player was associated with this specific three-point field goal miss thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the different clip types that can be added into the editor max we hope that this helped and if you have any other questions please let us know and we look forward to teaching you again on one of our next videos